You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Because that's what nose are for, right? Hi guys, Lisette here on D News. So we get a ton of questions from you on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter. One that got us scratching our heads was from Cynthia Gutierrez. Why do we have nails? Well, the truth is scientists don't really know how our fingers came to have flat, thin covers made of keratin on them. All we can say for certain is that we have fingernails because our primate ancestors had them and they were passed along to us. For some time, scientists theorized that our nails were simply vestiges of ancestral claws. But the scientific explanation has gotten a lot messier and more complicated since then. Part of the reason it's complicated is because nails evolved more than 50 million years ago. Like most others, this evolutionary trait evolved slowly through natural selection over a long period of time. So scientists must rely on cues like DNA, the physical structure and characteristics of fossils and bones, and phylogeny, where certain animals fall in the tree of ancestors. What we do know is that nails on all fingers are an exclusive characteristic of primates, though similar keratinous structures like hooves and horns exist in other animals too. The earliest evidence we have of fingernails on primates comes from 55.8 million years ago, according to a study published in the American Journal of Physical Anthropology. Researchers discovered that a small lemur-like primate less than six inches long, called Tilhardina branti, had nails on its digits. Flat just like ours, although they still retain some claw-like features. And like us, it was an omnivore, but unlike most of us, it spent a good time up in trees foraging. They posit that nails were more useful than claws to these little guys in certain ways, like helping them hold on to smaller branches, which could mean they would have been better able to keep their balance atop trees, which would have helped them forage for food further and kept them from falling off the tree into the hands of claws of a hungry predator. The fact that these primates with bodies less than six inches long had nails has seriously challenged the previous hypotheses that nails evolved as primates' bodies got larger. By pointing out that these nails gave the primates an advantage, this evidence also challenges the idea that we evolved nails simply because their rounder, thicker claws became less useful. Still, it's important to note that this does not mean nails are categorically better than claws, just better for certain things for certain primates. Some researchers have even suggested that the claw to nail relationship is not linear, that some primates might have lost their claws, evolved nails, and re-evolved claws again. But regardless of why we got them in the first place, there are a ton of reasons why we have them today. Nails are useful in protecting the skin underneath them and allows us to manipulate small objects. They can make great little tweezers. Some scientists also believe they increase the tactile sensitivity of our fingertips. And they can also serve as health indicators. For example, yellow nails could be the sign of a fungal infection, which is very common because some fungus loves to eat keratin. Yellowing could also signal something more serious, like diabetes or lung disease. And socially, nails have served to indicate status or style for thousands of years, dating back to the Chinese royalty in 3000 BCE and the ancient Egyptians who differentiated class by the color they painted their nails. So while the evolutionary role isn't clear, it is clear they play an important role in cultural expression. Another way to express yourself is through a website. No domain extension will help you tell your story, like a .com or .net domain name. And because you watch DNews, you get 15% off domain.com's names and web hosting by using the code DNews when you check out. Have you noticed that the nails on your fingers grow much faster than the nails on your toes? Trace and Crystal have the skinny here. Today, children's nails grow fastest until puberty, and then they decline after the 20s. Adults will grow nails at half the rate of a teenager. And as we said earlier, overall, fingernails typically grow three to four times faster than toenails. Do your nails grow fast or slow? Mine grow super fast. We love hearing from you. If you've got a science question, just put it down below and tag it with Ask D News. Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and remember to subscribe so you never miss an episode of D News. Thanks for watching.